Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting journey into the world of artificial intelligence and data manipulation. Imagine a world where handling and transforming data becomes not just efficient but downright magical. Yes, that's the promise of Pandas AI. Pandas AI is a Python library that adds generative capabilities to Pandas, which is the most popular data analysis and manipulation tool. Make a comparison between the Pandas library and the Pandas AI library. I have set up a Python project in my PyCharm IDE. The first file is using the Pandas library and the second one is using the Pandas AI. So for the Pandas library, I am quickly gonna go through the code that is present inside it. So firstly, I have imported the libraries which will be used which are the pandas library and the matplotlib.pyplot library. After that, I have created a dictionary for the data set. This contains the data of different countries having the pollution index for the year 2021, 2020, 2019 and 2018 along with the population of the country. Then I have created a data frame and stored my data set inside it. Now the first question arises is finding the top 5 most polluted countries in the year 2021 and for that I have first sorted the data set by the year 2021 in the descending order and out of those sorted countries I have selected the top 5 ones which are on the top and then I simply displayed it. So once I done it, it is going to show me the top 5 most polluted countries in the year 2021. Let's run it and you can see that these are the top 5 countries which were most polluted in the year 2021. Now let's see another question that if you want to calculate the average pollution index for the United Arab Emirates for the four years, then how can you do that? Here is the code for it. So firstly, I am filtering the data for the country whose value is United Arab Emirates. And after that, I am fetching the data for the year 2018, 2019, 2020 and 21 and I am calculating the mean or the average value for it and storing it in a variable called average pollution UA and then finally I am displaying the average value. So once I run it, it is going to show me the average pollution index for the United Arab Emirates for four years. Let's run it and you are going to see that this is the value that it has written to us for the average pollution index for United Arab Emirates. And this is because I do not have the record for UAE here. So let's say if I change the country from United Arab Emirates to let's say Pakistan. And I'm also going to change it to Pakistan here. Let's see what it gives us. Hit run. And you can see that now the average pollution index for Pakistan is this way. Now for the third query, I want to plot a histogram for the pollution index of all the countries for the year 2021. And to do so, you can use a code something like this. So firstly, I am filtering the data for the year 2021. Then I am defining that the bar should represent the country or the region for the year 2021. And these are the colors that would be selected. Then on the x-axis, we want the label to be the country. Then on the y-axis, we want the label to be pollution index 2021. And the title of our histogram is going to be pollution index in 2021 for different countries. And these are the parameters for our histogram. Now simply we are going to tight layout the plot and we are going to show it. Now let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that these two are the values for the first two questions and for the histogram question it has shown us the pollution index of all the countries from our data set for the year 2021 in different colors okay so all of this is done using the pandas library but we have to write the code for it so the interesting thing about the pandas library is you can do all of these things using the pandas ai library as well but in case of pandas ai library you do not need to write the code for everything you simply have to give it a prompt just like you give it to chat GPT and it is going to generate the output for us. So now let's see how you can do it in pandas AI library. So here I have created a pandas AI file inside which firstly you have to import certain libraries which are the pandas library, the pandas AI to import the smart data frame and then you have to use the pandas AI dot LLM which stands for the large language model to import the open AI. I have also copied the data set which I have used in the pandas library file because I want to use it here as well. Then I have stored the data inside a data frame. 
Now, in order to use the pandas AI library, you need to instantiate a large language model. And for that, you need the API token for the OpenAI. To get it, you need to head over to the OpenAI website. So once you are on the OpenAI website, you need to search for API keys because that's what we need. So once you do that, you will land on a page that looks like this. And in order to have a new secret key, you have to click on this create new secret key button from here. Provide a name to your secret key and click on create secret key and it is going to generate something like this. So for that, you simply have to copy the value of the key. Go back to your IDE and for the API token, here you have to paste the key for your OpenAI account. So once it is done, your LLM object will be instantiated. And then you can use it to instantiate the smart data frame object. And then you can use this variable or the object to call its chat function inside which you have to pass the prompt for which you want to get the answer. So if you remember that in the first file where we're using the pandas library, the first question was to find the top five most polluted countries in the year 2021. And if you have a look at the output, these were the five countries, Bangladesh, Chad, Pakistan, Tajikistan, and India, which were the top five most polluted countries in the year 2021. And now inside the chat function of the data frame, we have passed the same question in it. And if we run it, then without any code, it is going to give us the top five countries, which are most polluted in the year 2021. So now let's go ahead and run it. And you can see that it has returned the top five most populated countries in 2021 are Bangladesh, Chad, Pakistan, Tajikistan, and India. And it is the same response which was generated when we were using the simple pandas library. Now let's see the next question. The next question was to calculate the average pollution index for United Arab Emirates for four years. And it given us not applicable because United Arab Emirates data was not present in our data set. Now let's go ahead and paste it here. And I've changed the prompt to calculate the average pollution index for United Arab Emirates for four years. Let's go ahead and run it. Okay, so it has generated the response and it says that the average pollution index for United Arab Emirates for four years is NAN because United Arab Emirates data was not present in our data set. So let's change the United Arab Emirates to Pakistan to see the generated response. Let's run it again. Okay, so it has calculated the pollution index for Pakistan for four years, which is 66.475. And it is the same value which was generated when we were using the simple pandas library and calculated the average through the code. And then finally, in the pandas file, we created a histogram for the pollution index of all the countries for the year 2021. So we are going to do the same here. So this time I'm going to prompt it to plot histogram of the pollution index of all countries for the year 2021 in different colors. Now let's go ahead and run this so to see whether it plots a histogram for us or not. Let's see it generates a response. Okay, so the histogram was generated but it is not staying on the screen. Let's try once again. Hit run. Wait for it to generate the response. And yes, it is not staying but the histogram is being generated. So that's the main difference between the pandas library and the pandas AI library. But the pandas AI library cannot work independent of the pandas library. It works in conjunction with it. So with the pandas library, you need to write the code in order to analyze the data and fetch data from it. But if you use pandas AI library, then you will simply have to prompt the library to give you the data related to any question about the data set. I hope you understood the differences between the pandas library and pandas AI library. Try it for yourself and see the magic of pandas AI library. That's all for this video. Thank you.